Who are you? Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly, welcome to Austin, Texas. Woo! Thank you. Right off the bat here, Machine Gun Kelly, I want to give you a gift to welcome you to Austin, Texas. Okay. Here we have, right here, an autographed to you anti-flag vinyl record. Oh, shit! No, is this for real? Yes, to Machine Gun Kelly. Autographed. Man, you have oh my god. How did you even know? Wait, I never even said that I like I never even publicly stated. You're Machine Gun Kelly, people know. God. What can you tell the people about Machine Gun Kelly and Anti Flag and now the autographed record? Man, dude, this was probably one of my favorite bands growing up. Definitely like huge influence on me in middle school. I fought to get this record, like the theme song for our D V D we have coming out. And um God, dude, this is fucking nuts, man. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Wait, 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 wait. I, I just love, I just love, look, there's machine guns on the record, too. Oh, no. and actually, hold on one second. I, I brought a gift for you, too. Hold on one second. Um, let me, do you know, I want to just say a quote and see if you know where this is from. I don't need my friends to tell me who my friends are. Oh, that's amazing. That's the Evaporators. That's my own band. Yeah. I, that's incredibly, how did you even know that? We went ahead and we uh, made you a t-shirt, a band t-shirt. I mean, we're not very good at art, but, you know, I went ahead and signed one and made one for you. Oh, my God. That is incredible. So, so Evaporators t-shirt, here we go. Oh, my God. Thank you, Machine yeah, Gun Kelly. Thank you. Like, how did you, oh, my goodness. Friends in high places, dude, they told me. Now, through the evaporators, that's kind of how I met Anti Flag. How did you get into Anti Flag? What punk did you grow up on? Uh, definitely grew up on them, No Effects, uh, Casualties, basically through Warp Tour. So, yeah. And then, like, I, I was a punker growing up. Like, all the, fr the friend that I lived with when I was a kid, he was, like, a huge punker. So, how did you hear about the evaporators? That's incredible. I don't have no idea how you found out about that. Because we get down, motherfucker. We know everything. Machine Gun Kelly, I have another gift for you. Another person that I think was influential to you, the Luda. Roll out. First motherfucking song I ever heard. First rap song I ever heard. Yes. Uh, where did you hear it? And what made you gravitate towards it? Because it was the first one you heard? Yeah. yeah. No, uh, so I was, actually, this is, this is a funny story. So I was actually, I was actually on a, a, like a road trip, and me and my friend were in the backseat, and uh, his dad was taking us, and um, I had a CD player, and my CD player was Limp Bizkit, hot, uh, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavor Water. And then his CD player was this record right here. And uh, he was like, dude, just switch me. And we switched. And he and I listened to this and I heard that the, and I heard Roll Out and everything else on here. And I was like, man, fuck that shit. I'm about to listen to this. So that's this, yeah. This this that's funny. This is like this where this and DMX were it already started at. Machine Gun Kelly, did you do a whole show in Milwaukee with no music? Yeah. yeah. What happened there? How did that happen? Uh the the speakers blew out. And that was like where I pulled the first acapella crowd surf. I don't think that's ever been done. And we did the whole show. We did the whole show like this, like, like we were just yelling it. So that yeah, it was, it sucked balls, but it was funny. How'd you know? Cleveland represent. Got to know Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, yeah. Now speaking of Cleveland, I want to ask you about this vintage Cleveland compilation. Check this out. This is a vintage Cleveland compilation of Cleveland. You know early Cleveland rap at all? I know, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with early Cleveland rap. This is 1988, and check it out here, MC Squirt. I know who MC Squirt is. You know who MC Squirt is? Tell me about MC Squirt. I know who he is because my manager, oh, I know Johnny O. Oh, DJ, is this DJ Johnny O? Hey, man, yeah, this is, that, this is actually one of my, one of my uh, homies now, man. He's a, he's a local DJ, and he has this thing called the Nerve DJs. Yeah, that's, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I know these guys. Yeah, I think MC Squirt might be a woman. I'm not. Well, no, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about Johnny O. But yeah, yeah, I know who MC Squirt is. But Johnny O, I know him. And then uh. So he's still in the game. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, Johnny O still DJs. Yeah. Ray. Oh, Cash. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this is this uh? Oh, this is my shit. This is track number eight on uh the Cash on Delivery album. Just a young in a dope game trying to get my hand on some boat change. And he's still kicking it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Raise the homie too, man. Everybody, all in Shia G. Yep. These are, man, classic Cleveland album, dude. Now, we can't let you go and leave Austin without another classic Cleveland album, the... Oh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs and motherfucking Harmony. But Luda was first for you, though. Yeah, he was. He was. But actually, Bone is actually, are actually good friends of mine. Um, when their cosign came for me, that was a huge deal. And... uh Obviously, these guys kind of paved the way for me and the city. I love that you're not afraid to say you're a Limp Biscuit fan. No, dude, he was sweet. 
Did you like him? I thought it was really interesting though. Like, but you're not afraid. You can love everything. You can love the evaporator sand yeah. lamp biscuit. I love that. Cause I don't need my friends to tell me who my friends are. I wanted to take you back to Cleveland from Vancouver, where the evaporators are from. Okay. I have a gift for you here of some real Cleveland hardcore. This is a band called Face Value, and they were around in Cleveland in the 1990s. So I thought I'd give it to you. It's got a DVD, and there's some DVD footage there at Peabody's. Oh, shit. That's where I used to perform at. Yeah, what well, can you tell people about Peabody's? Because they did some stuff at Peabody's. Yeah, yeah, Peabody's is like really hardcore, kind of like famous rock venue in Cleveland. Everyone's came through there. Like Steve-O used to come through there and do his show. Um, Tech Nine used to come through there. And that was where my first sold out show was ever, was at Peabody's. So you can watch a DVD of Face Value at Peabody's and check out some Cleveland hardcore, oh, 1990s yeah. style. This is the real deal, Face Value. Repping Cleveland, Cleveland hardcore. <laughs> Speedy's. Rest Spe Speedy's. Speedy's restaurant in Cleveland. On 131st? Yeah. Oh, that's where Slim used to work at. That's where, well, Slim is my best friend. And, um, yes, uh, Speedy's is, is, a, is a corner store. And it's, it's a, that's where we used to, like, get all our food from. Because when we lived in an apartment, we couldn't, we didn't have enough money to get food. So the only food we would get was what, the chicken wings that they served there and the gyros that he would bring home. And he got up at, like, 1230, so we'd only eat one meal a day. And it would be after midnight. It fucking sucked. But that's right. And that's also where I wrote a lot of my songs in the Speedy's parking lot. How about Famous G's? Have you heard of that place? Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's on, uh, that's on Northfield. That shit is like the best gyro spot ever. I've never even said, fa I don't think I've ever even spoke about Famous G's. And I always know that you like were supposed to know stuff, but I don't think I've ever said Famous G's. Maybe I said it once, but however you found that out, it's a clever motherfucker. Now, in Cleveland, there's a Battle of the Mustards, isn't there? There's, like, Stadium and yeah. Bertrams. What's this deal on that? A Battle of the Mustards in Cleveland? Yeah, yeah. So, so my friends like Stadium Mustard. We asked for the Stadium Mustard on our, our concert riders. I don't fuck with mustard, but they love mustard. And what makes it better than, say, Bertrams? I don't know, but my friends ride with Stadium, so fuck Bertrams. Machine Gun Kelly? What about the real Machine Gun Kelly? What do you know about the real Machine Gun Kelly? I guess you are the real Machine Gun Kelly, but the real Machine Gun Kelly. Um, well, I want to thank them for not suing me so far. But, uh, yeah, I know that he was a fucking G. He shot up a church. George Barnes is his name. Um, he lived in Tacoma, Washington for a little bit. Tacoma, Washington. Okay. And do you know who else lived in Tacoma for a little while? Sacagawea. Your other hero, Kurt Cobain. Oh, shit. So Machine Gun Kelly connection, really, to Kurt Cobain. Ah, uh, this is weird. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking... Kurt Cobain, punk rock, real punk rock. There's another band out there called the Angelic Upstarts. Have you heard of them? They have a song called Machine Gun. Kelly. And I thought I would give you a copy of their first 7-inch right here. The Angelic Upstarts. That's real punk rock. Machine Gun Kelly. They do that tune. So, I have a question. How do I, how do I play these? On your record player. Okay. That's for the next interview, the next GIF. Okay. <laughs> Actually, in interviews you mention porn and you get like free accounts. You should just mention that you need a record player in every interview. So maybe you want to address the camera and you'll get like a record player. Right. God, I really wish I had a record player to play all these fucking records that I just got. Machine Gun Kelly, Ohio City Tattoo. Bloop. Yep. Everything, pretty much? Yeah, everything. What's the last thing you've had done? Can uh, we see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I X'd these, uh, the 90 out of the EST tattoo. So, because, you know, my, my, my label and, like, you know, our whole movement is called EST19XX. And it's just kind of like, we X'd out the year because it was kind of like, we just want to speak for everyone no matter when you were born. So, like, whether you were born in 90, 77, 60, 1920, your old grandma raging and shit, you know, we speak for you. Machine Gun Kelly, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? <sighs> um... I want to thank the fans. I want to thank uh, my cameraman, Sporty, because he's been waiting for this interview forever, and he wants to take a picture with you after this interview's done. And, uh, and I want to thank you, Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. for the Evaporators yeah. t-shirt. Incredible. You know what's funny is uh, probably about a year ago, we were, um, we were on my manager's mom's couch in, in her house. You know, we, me, Sporty, and, uh, and Ashley, who's my manager, we were watching all the interviews we ever did. We were always like, damn, man, I can't, till, I can't wait till one day he interviews me. And now I haven't. So I'm like, I'm really happy. Well, thanks so much. Really appreciate it, Machine Gun Kelly. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, do the loot, do. Lace up. <laughs>